who smokes more weed between you and Snoop Dogg? <laughs> it's California. See that? That's how you can tell it's California smoke. By the way, the smoke move when it. <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a funny way of looking at the little annoyances that we all face as weed weed connoisseurs. Boss talk one-on-one. One-on-one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Um, with everybody, it's gonna be a different story. And why there's not more Jamaicans, Exactly. I can't tell you. Because I also had that opinion of me, of my own career, where I broke in Jamaica, then I broke in the States, 2000, 2001. I become a phenomenon worldwide. And then about 2010, I'm still doing the same music, as I told you before. I know I'm still fire. I'm still doing good music, but I'm being told by the states, oh, dancehall is not reacting on the radio anymore. It's not playing. But I'm hearing Sia, and I'm hearing um, Justin Bieber, and I'm hearing um, Ed Sheeran over these years. I'm hearing these little songs, and they're playing on the radio here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, uh, there's so that I was hearing R. Kelly. Oh, Move I'm your hearing. body like a snake, man. All of that's dancehall music to me. Don't hold back, let it go now, like that. Let your money make a jump now. And I'm hearing a lot of that dancehall implemented into the rap yeah. and stuff like that to make it. Yeah, but for over the years, there's been many of that. But right. there's some. Some straight, not even just fusing dancehall, just some straight, straight dancehall dance songs. Like uh, when when we in Jamaica heard Missy, that your chick. That your chick. Watch y'all hit six for the hell of his. Keep licking her lips. That your chick. We, we do do do. <laughs> to that the, the stuff what Timberland was doing was very reminiscent of what we was mm. we was hearing and doing it at yeah. home. No, it's real. Uh, so it was kind of blended a lot. Um, and you know, it 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 it, it takes time for people to kind of gravitate toward that sound and realize that that, that that's dancehall. As as a young um, DJ or MC when I was coming in the game about 2001, when giving the light was breaking. Just give me the light and pass the job. What's another buckle more? I have a cousin who's a paramedic in Miami, but his wife's a teacher, and she said she called us one day and was like, "Yo." There's kids fighting in my school about your song. And I'm like, what are they fighting about? She said, give me the light. I said, what? <laughs> She's like, it's very popular, all of them listening to it. But some kids is like, this is new hip hop and it's dope. And the Caribbean kids is like, nah, nah, that's, that's called dancehall. Wow. And they start arguing about it. So the song was just very fresh, but a lot of what hip hop and dancehall was doing at the time, similar. You know, Make It Clap worked because it was a hybrid dancehall and and, and um but that was my song right and, and hip hop to push it up there back with the remix to split for Sean and Paul in the corner track ah, with me no. and Buster Rhymes so. but that's what you were asking yeah, about you didn't earlier. do that yeah you didn't do that you ain't do you ain't, you don't do that in your set do you I did it yesterday did you do it yesterday yeah. I, be, I don't know but you know I'm down, I got, you left me down at the bottom song. you know when you went up to the top <laughs> I kind of just stayed back cause it, it be it be tough on me cause I be wanting to see you yeah, know what I'm saying yeah, I'm yeah. old so I'm like man yeah, he, yeah. he right there but see. then the music is just so when you right there at it yeah. it's different man yeah, yeah bro but it's the dope. song that you were talking about was give me the light you said give me the light of Pastor Joe and then you didn't know what else he said yeah, after that bust another buckle of more what did you say bust another buckle of more give me the light and Pastor Joe bust another buckle of more yeah let me know my side more oh, more head. yeah <laughs> See, that's the, that's the part you're like, I'm the I type I want to hear it. I don't even look up the <laughs> lyrics. I want to figure it out. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Same thing. Sometimes I hear a hip-hop song, and I'm like, I don't, because of the context of what they're saying or how they're speaking, but I don't know what don't they understand. mean by that. Yeah. And it. But to me, it gets you to, to research if you really like the song. You mentioned the girls closer. earlier. You, yeah. you mentioned the, 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 the fact the girl, no, the girls oh. that basically, you know, they love his music. Yeah. But you do a lot of music, a lot of good music with ladies like Beyonce, like like my fire with uh Keisha with, with. From you looking at me, I got me to say you want me when they're gonna give it up to me. Yeah, Ke Keisha Gwen, Cole, don't yeah. say that. That's, that's my girl there. <laughs> <laughs> he, she did, he did Gwen, Gwen and yeah, yeah. Sunshine. Won't you like my fire? Ah. Be a, be a long time.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a, that was a that's hard it. one. Like you, that, that helps too, right? Yeah, for when sure. You, when you collab with the, the right women the at the right the, time, the collabs is definitely something that has helped my career. You, you mentioned it earlier, and I kind of skipped over that. That's true. Um, you know, from the beginning, the first collab that I did that was outside of my genre was. Cardinal official. From from Canada, he's a, he got Jamaican roots, mm -hmm. and he, he's a rapper and he, he exec now. But he he came down and he's like, "Yo, bro, you fresh? Like, pay you some money, pay me two grand." <laughs> <And> I'm like, <laughs> spit the track. Big so, money, yo. yeah, yeah. It was for me for that time, right? For real. And um, he was the first one to do that, and. I saw the benefit, I felt the benefits, you know? I felt people in Canada more being like, yo, and then so that started to pop off. And then, you know, everywhere I went, I would meet other rappers and yeah. they'd be like, yo, your stuff's dope. And I'm like, yo, let's work. So I worked with, you know, producers to like Tony Touch, with Razzle from The Roots, um, uh, Neptunes. And then me and Busta was to me the biggest thing because I, I looked up huge. to him. I looked up to him a lot, man. So when I did his the remix for Make It Clap, I asked him to do Give Me the Light, and it was just a symbiotic thing at the time. And so. with him having his Jamaican roots too. Yeah. All right, here it we worked. go. It but it's worked. everywhere. <laughs> let's let's just say it. Um, Busta Rhymes, uh, Special Ed, Wow, uh, Slick Rick. Wow. Uh, uh -huh. I think oh, somebody said Rakim the other day, but I don't. No, just get <laughs> off of it. Yeah, I don't. I don't Son, stop it. You're going know, too far they, now. They, they stretching with that one. They, they reaching. <laughs> but like, um, so much people, um, you know, Heavy D. Yeah. Yeah, Heavy D for know, sure. You know, RIP man. All, all these people have had huge careers or or songs in in a in a very big selling genre. And we was proud of that. Yeah. We were proud. We, you Jamaica, better, you know, was oh, you definitely proud of it. Jamaica, we like, Barbados didn't have that going on. Or, exactly. Or, or, or Trinidad didn't Little have that Jamaica, going on. Little Jamaica got a mean punch. Yeah. Everybody so that's why you feel proud. It, that's why when we mention it so much, you know, people might get like, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> but but it is a lot, bro. We about it, it all the time. It, it is a lot of us. Um, Everywhere. That's, that's <laughs> either just the diaspora or influence you know, has come from what we do, and so I love it, man. I gotta ask this question. Who smokes more weed between you and Snoop Dogg? <laughs> it's California, see that? That's how you can tell it's California smoke, by the way. The smoke more when it <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a funny way of looking at the little annoyances that we all face as weed, weed connoisseurs. Yo, I'm afraid of Snoop Dogg, man. <laughs> I'm afraid of Snoop. Yo, I went on a tour with him, Rock the Mic tour, 2003. How was that? Yeah, crazy. 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 Them bros are smoking blunts, so I don't smoke blunts. Oh, okay. So he, he said, yo, Sean Paul. I saw him calling him. Yeah. Yo, Sean Paul, you out smoking them Bob Marley's. So why you ain't smoking blunts? You need to smoke blunts like us, bro. <laughs> and I tried the blunts, bro. And it was not for me. I don't do tobacco well. Mm -mm. But if he tried so, to smoke all pure weed, can he stand up to you? No, I'm saying I'm afraid of him. I, I can't. I no, can't. but if he, because he he do blunts, as in like he oh, makes it with tobacco, tobacco. But it, but well, if maybe. he take the tobacco out and maybe boost maybe. straight, maybe. well, we're gonna have to have a smoke off. Yeah, we maybe. need a smoke off. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but I mean, I you know I smoked with him on stage, um, in front of the police there, right, in, right, where, where are you from, um, right in Long Beach. Mm -hmm. um, that was fun. You know, he's he's somebody who, he's one of the goats, and. And um, always pleasant, you know what I mean. He don't even if there's stuff going on around that's hectic. Yeah, he have a calm demeanor, which I always respected about him. From that's dope. from he was a younger MC, and I wasn't even in the business, so to speak, yet. Always respect that about Snoop, and I always felt like family around him. You know, wow. He the girl who braided his hair. He's like, oh what? On the rock the mic tour. He's yeah, like, yeah. You want you want somebody to braid your hair? He's like, yo. Come on. She she used to do my hair after that for a long time. Wow, that's hard, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.